And Miley's story is one full of high hopes and unexpected blessings. But to fully understand why this weekend is so special to me, I must really take you guys back to where it all started. I was born on the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, where my native tongue is Spanish. But in the summer of 2003, my family and I moved to Texas, in a country where I didn't know the language, have any friends, and everything was a challenge. Fast forward a couple of years, my mother, who is now a Lee alumna, began to study at Lee in the online program while I was in high school. She completed her studies through motherhood, wifehood, ministry, work, and life. And as I watched her dedicate her time, energy, and her abilities to her studies, I decided that I too wanted to be a Lee Flame. In the spring of 2015, as I prepared to move to Tennessee, with my Lee admissions packet in hand and an excited heart, God had another unexpected blessing coming my way. My first baby was on the way. So goodbye future, goodbye summer plans, and goodbye Lee University. But because I serve a God who is always in control, who gives second chances, and who had already planned who I was going to become long before I was in my mother's womb, and the Lord continued to unexpectedly bless me with an amazing husband who took my hand one night and told me to give my dreams another chance. So I decided to apply at Lee once again, this time to Lee Online. Lee Online gave me the opportunity to fulfill my dreams of graduating and reaching for the stars all the while being a mom and a wife and serving in ministry and working a full-time job. But amid frantic studying, diaper changes, long nights, and even earlier mornings, I noticed that God was doing something in my life that I had never experienced before. In every class that I took in the last three and a half years, I saw how God was forming me. There were professors like Dr. Joshua Rice who encouraged me to continue studying and trusting in God. And there were staff members like my academic advisor, Ms. Cam Roos, who'd email me almost weekly with encouragement, support, and prayer. Things don't look exactly as I expected them to look, but I see a future full of unexpected blessings that God so beautifully created for me. As a wife, as a mom, and as a first year Magnolia West High School teacher helping other students. But above all, as the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 3, 7, he has also created me to be a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given to me by the working of his power. So to God alone be the glory for his unexpected blessings in my life. Thank you and God bless you all.